Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Airsoft One production. Today I'm going to be doing the video review of the KWA MP7 licensed by Umarex. So it is actually HK licensed. Now, obviously this gun has a couple more um, upgrades and uh, things on it than it comes with normally. You have, uh, starting from the rear, I'm going to collapse it. Now, starting from the rear, you've got a plastic, um, what do you want to call it, charging handle, but you don't really need to worry about it because it's pretty sturdy. Um, plastic charging handle, which obviously the magazine is out of ammo right now because it locked back. Um, it, it doesn't go forward unless you have it either loaded or you have the follower all the way down at the bottom, and it'll just... When you cock it, it'll go home. Um, now, to extend the stock, you push this little button right here. You push the button up, and it slides out. Now, I have modified it so it can go to half position, so it's a little bit closer because, you know, when it's all the way out, it seems almost too far out sometimes, but sometimes it feels good, just depending on if you're running a plate carrier, a... Uh, uh, a chest rig or just a battle belt depending on the loadout you might want a different uh, length so I like having the dual on here um, now this does get a little wobbly over time but it doesn't really matter because when it's in your shoulder it um, it's nice and tight you have a sling the holes down here for slings now I'll be going over in a different video how to do this but not at the moment so like I said you've got that charging handle now to remove the stock there's a button over here you pull up and then there's a little tiny lever you push up over here so you push them up at the same time to remove the stock there it comes off and then to put it back on you just slide it back on now I'm gonna collapse it just to leave it collapsed um, now moving up you have iron sights very nice iron sights. Now, if you're familiar with MP7 iron sights, you've got the pistol style close quarters ones with night sights, which are the white dots. And then you've got the flip up irons, the rifle irons. Now, they're like that when they're flipped up and like that when they're collapsed. Pretty simple. Uh, very nice iron sights. I love them to pieces, but I just like the look of the red dot on here a little bit more. It makes it a little heavier. But this is a... Uh, AMP tactical railed red dot. I'd like to get a uh, EOTech 552 replica to put on here, but I don't have the money for one right now. Then moving up, I have um, the opening ejector port, I guess, or the uh, where the shells on the real one would come out. Now, like I said before, if it's out of ammo, it'll lock back, and you won't be able to fire. Um, so your selector switch is ambidextrous. Now, as you can see here, it's on safe, semi-automatic, and full auto. Now, to be honest, the uh, the right side um, is pretty tight, and the left side is a little wobbly. You can tighten the little pins to lock that down, but um, it gets annoying. And then you've got your bolt catch. The right one is not wobbly, but the left one is kind of wobbly. Now, to release the bolt, when it's cocked back, you can see that it's cocked back by either this being back or by the uh, the hole being open. Now to release the bolt, you press this up, and then that will come home, unless you push it home. Now you just push up on the button, and then the bolt goes home. Now you've got your, I want to say 40 round, somewhere around there, your 40 round magazine. Very nice. Holds a ton of gas. Uh, it is dual stack. Now, like most KWAs, if you pull the forward down all the way to the bottom, it will stick down at the bottom. Like I said before, these are very efficient mags. And to release it, you just press the little button in the middle, and then it'll come up. Now, I have Magpul XTM rail covers with a, uh, I don't know what these other ones are, like UTG or whatever. Now, to uh, bring the foregrip down, all you do is pull it 
straight down and then you've got that foregrip it's nice and sturdy it, it wobbles a little bit but it doesn't really matter um now to uh to bring it back up you just pull straight down on this little this little uh part right here pull down and come up and then it'll lock or it doesn't lock but it locks in the down position but it doesn't lock in the up position now moving forward I didn't say this but back here you've got uh, one or sling points that are uh, sling mounts that are ambidextrous right here I have a little keychain ring easy to put on my one point um, this is just to know that it's under chrono limits now here and here are another sling mount so you have uh, six different sling points on here that you can attach now moving up you have this plastic heat shield which is uh, annoying if it breaks like mine you can see now all you have to do to fix that is a little drop of super glue or you might want to get a new one I'm gonna buy a new one now I have a gym tech licensed it's not correct with the threads on this one but this is a gym tech licensed suppressor hopefully I'll be getting the longer internal barrel now this gun is very accurate you can probably hit someone at 150 feet even though it has a barrel that's about that long 150 foot range uh, like I said very accurate very nice uh, very clean very smooth for CQB nice for field they do make uh, holsters for these you can use the big paintball holsters or you can get a custom kydex uh, if someone would make it for you or you know how to make it now the mag release is right here you just pull straight down and the mag comes out very nice uh, this is this is not an NS2 but so you don't have to worry about putting the mag in when the bolt is uh, home like with my Mac 11 so you don't break off the the valve that does not matter it's all fine it's very lightweight gun when it's stripped without any of these accessories on it um, mine shoots 340 FPS without the uh, CQB bolt so that does not require me to buy the CQB bolt which is very nice um, every other one I've seen out there it shoots over 400 or at 400 or maybe 380 with uh, stock but I don't know I bought this from one of my friends and he didn't put anything into it so I don't have to put anything into it like you guys know I like to buy guns to use uh, I don't really buy any guns new for uh, the most part I've only ever bought two guns my uh, TMMEU and my classic army uh, sport line those were pretty much the only guns I've ever bought new um, so pretty much I like to run this when I'm going to CQB or at a field depending on that day uh, now this is a gun you can run in the winter as you can probably see it's cold and it's winter right now uh, well you can't see that but um, it is winter right now you can run this in the winter it's very efficient one mag you can get two BB fills at least off of uh, power green gas very nice gun I can't say enough about this gun the hop up adjustment when it comes with the little tool um, goes in this hole right here now if you have a suppressor on this gun you will have to remove the suppressor to put the uh, the uh, pop up adjustment tool in there now to put a suppressor on it let me say this again or not again but let me say this so you all know you have to buy the adapter to put the suppressor on there the suppressor does not go on here without the adapter because the threads are clockwise you need counterclockwise to put a normal suppressor on there now if you got a clockwise suppressor that's a different story but to do that I will also be putting up another video on how to remove the uh, the uh, standard flash uh, cover so thanks guys for watching this has been another airsoft dude one production make sure to check out my channel comment rate subscribe thanks for watching